One of the first things that we wanted to purchase for our RV was snap pads, and we finally got to do that. Stick around in this video, we're going to show you how we installed our snap pads on our RV. Joel, Deb, and Maya here, welcoming you to join us in our journey for chasing RV sunshine. Snap pads were very important for us um, as it makes it a much easier setup and also you leave less damage when you're at a RV park or on gravel or on new blacktop like we just were. Correct. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier and a lot safer for the rig and for the spot you're at. Uh, like she said, it doesn't leave marks. Um, you don't have to constantly be crawling under there putting extra pads down or whatever. The uh, snap pads were easily installed. We just moved our rig over to the parking lot here, which was nice level uh, surface. The install instructions came with and were super easy to follow. There was a link to a YouTube video to watch on how to install the snap pads also. As we had mentioned snap pads in a previous video, they did send us some can koozies and stickers and a thank you note for including them in our YouTube channel. We are not sponsored by snap pads, however, do highly recommend them and they're super easy to install and great to have on your rig. They are good for all types of rigs, including class A's, travel trailers, and fifth wheels. You go to their website and follow the instructions and they will recommend the right snap pad for you. Currently, they are all out of stock due to COVID-19. However, we were able to get an order in prior to their shortage. We did pay $134 for our set of snap pads. Snap Pad itself is a wonderful company that also offers a military and law enforcement discount as well. I will leave a link to their website in the description below. As we hadn't moved in a couple of weeks, I got on the roof and to ensure that there was no debris on the slides before bringing them in. After bringing in all four of our slides, we then brought up the jacks in order to move to the parking lot to install the snap pads. If you use snap pads yourself, let us know in the comments below how your install went and if you found it easy and if you're continuing to like them or have had any issues. So far, so good for us. First, we used a wire brush to clean off the original jacks and remove debris from the top. Then we followed the instructions on the snap pad and placed Dawn disc soap around the edge to help with ease of set in when placing them under the jack. Next step was to lower the jacks and place the snap pad directly underneath ensuring it is in the correct spot in order to have it installed correctly. Make sure you keep your hands and fingers out of the way so not to get hurt during this process. probably took us five to ten minutes to get all four on and it was super easy uh, as we have mentioned in a previous video um, when we the very first time we actually took the RV out um, I had crawled under and we were using temporary pads um, as well which um, I put a link to that previous video below 
but uh, these snap pads are definitely way to go. Absolutely. Back right in. Uh, nobody has to crawl under there to put extra pads or anything in there um, unless it would be needed because you're a super unlevel. But just back in when we got home from camping this weekend, uh, Deb backed in, pushed the button, and we were set up in just a couple minutes. Yep. The ease of them makes it well worth the purchase, and we highly recommend it. If this is your first time here, make sure you don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get notified when our next video is out. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Miss and love everyone. How's that working for you? Oh, that's working great. Whenever the uh, snap pads are easily installed.